and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, I want to thank all my Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, we're going to use a bunch of envelopes that come in the mail for all different kinds of stuff. Bills, junk, offers, whatever. And we're going to make some inserts for our traveler's notebooks. And this traveler's notebook I made a long time ago and almost every single thing that's inside of it as well. I was supposed to take it with me to Tokyo in 2020 for vacation with my mom, my, my niece, and my son. And of course, 2020, the whole year the pandemic ruined that so I'm going to replace what's in here I'm going to start today by replacing a couple of the inserts using the envelopes okay I'm so excited this is so fun you guys but I am going to be going out of town this year I'm going to be going to Las Vegas with my husband for our anniversary at the end of May with my son to Iceland in June and then my all of my husband's side of the family we are going to Hawaii in December we were supposed to go to Hawaii in June of 2020 but again, you know what 2020 did. So in, in addition to the envelopes, what you're going to need is some clear tape. This is my favorite tape dispenser from Dollar Tree. Look at that pretty pink swan. You're going to need some permanent double-sided tape, which I love, love, love the Dollar Tree double-sided tape, this permanent kind. I just pulled out two because one is just about used up. And then you're going to need some scissors or you can probably use... Maybe your paper trimmer, but I don't know. This is going to be pretty, well, yeah, no, I think it'll be pretty thick, but we're going to be working with. You're going to need a glue stick, which who doesn't have a glue stick? And you're going to need either a bone folder or the back of your scissors or the handle of a rounded butter knife, anything like that. You're going to need a ruler, which is, this is one that I love so much that I got when we went to visit the Grand Canyon. Isn't it so pretty, you guys? You're also going to need some binder clips. They don't have to be pretty like these. They can be the regular old black ones, but you're going to need about four of those. And then you're going to need some craft paper. You don't have to have a full 12 by 12 unless you're doing this for, well, nothing really is going to need uh, for sure a 12 by 12 using the envelopes. But um, I got these pretty papers that I picked out and you can use some scraps also for some of the different decor that we're going to be doing. And then you're going to need some little pretty things to do a little bit of decor with as well. Everything in this box came from one of my subscribers. Her name is Etta. Thank you so much, Etta. She knows I love pink and green and she sent me a ton of beautiful pink and green stuff to use that she made, etc. And that's so wonderful, including this craft folder that she made. And in here are some cut aparts or cutaways that I cut out of some 12 by 12 sheets that I'm going to be using some of this in today's video and some in the future as I decorate my pages and my inserts. So you're going to have probably two different types of junk mail envelopes or mail number 10 envelopes. You're going to have one that still has the flap on it that you just pulled apart or you're going to have some that you use like an envelope opener and you cut across the top. So what you're going to do with the ones that have the flap is you're just going to take a glue stick and you're just going to rub a bunch of glue on that flap and seal it back up so that you have a nice clean flat envelope with nothing sticking up at all. Of course, I love my bone folder, so I use that to press it down. And that's what you're going to do with that one. And it doesn't matter that there's a window on the outside because we are going to be allowing use of those envelopes on a few of our little envelopes when we cut them down, if we cut them down, depending on your size. And then for the ones that you cut open like this, you're just going to take some of your tape and you're just going to lay it across horizontally halfway and then you're going to fold over the other half to seal it completely yeah and i highly recommend using strips instead of you know smaller strips instead of one long strip it's just easy to work with now i'm going to be using my passport holder 
as the template because it is about the same width as the envelopes, which is awesome. Uh, passport size inserts are a little bit narrower, and then I would have had to cut the envelope even again after cutting the top off for the size traveler's notebook that I'm using. But if you want to, if you need a narrower insert, then you would just cut it on the right side as well to make it smaller or make it narrower that way. If you're going to be using a standard size traveler's notebook, you probably won't need to trim the top of it at all. But I'm using passport, so I just use my passport holder to measure, mark where the top is, how tall I need it to be. And then I'm taking that piece that I first cut and I'm gonna use that to mark the rest of them. All I'm gonna do is stack up about four or five envelopes. Then I'm gonna take the one that I cut using the passport as my marker passport holder as my marker and I'm going to put that one on the top of all that stack of envelopes and then I'm going to take some binder clips and I'm just going to secure that top piece that's already cut down on top of the other or the stack of envelopes that I have there. I'm going to put one on the right and the left around the size I want it to actually be one at the bottom and the one at the very top because that's even though it's not on top of the rest of the stack the one at the top is going to keep it from the rest from moving so much when I cut it then you're going to lift up that top part piece because it's already been cut and you don't want to cut down into it anymore and then you're going to cut across the line that you marked with your ruler and then they're all going to be the same size but of course we've only done a few of them and then the rest that you have left over, you can use for a little mini something later on. So now we're going to take the binder clips off and we're going to take one of those. I'm just checking to make sure everything looks good. We're going to take that top one again that we used before. And I'm just looking to try to remember how many I cut down at one time. So I checked again <laughs> and then we're going to take four or five and we're going to do the exact same thing again until we get through our entire stack. Yeah. So now I'm just lining up that top one and then we're just going to do that until we get through all of them. So now I have two stacks. I have a stack of nine and a, sorry, a stack of 10 on the left and a stack of nine on the right and they're open at the top. So then we want to tape um, the ones that we don't want to use as a pocket. So I decided to keep four total, two in each, no actually two in the stack of 10 and three no, let me say that again. <laughs> Three in the stack of 10 and two in the stack of nine, I decided to leave open at the top so that I could have them as extra pockets to tuck things in. And I did that with the ones that I could see a complete window on. Now I didn't show you which ones those were because then I'm kind of revealing what type of mail I got because some of them still have the labels from where the mail came from. So that's why you couldn't see that, yeah. Just for my privacy. And now what you wanna do is take the ones that you've cut down and you're gonna tape them in the center to make your insert. So you're going to just take the tape, and actually I forgot to mention that you need some, um, what is this tape called, y'all? Oh my goodness, I cannot think of the word, <laughs> but masking tape. You're going to take the masking tape, you're going to line it up vertically, you're going to put two pieces of paper together, you're going to line the tape up across them vertically, half of the tape on one side and half of the tape on the other piece of paper, like I'm doing here, and then you're just going to lay it across there and cut the ex excess at the top and bottom if you have any excess. And then you're going to keep doing that on the right side. You're just going to keep taking another piece of paper and putting it up against the other stack that's already taped and then lining your tape across the center with half of your tape on the left stack and half of your tape on the new one that you're adding on the right. And then you're going to cut any excess. Yeah, and you'll just keep doing that until you get all of them. It does take a little while, <laughs> especially depending on how big your stack is. And then when you're all done, you're going to have a little spine there, just like a book, a paperback book. Isn't that cool? And then you want to put your cover on. So I just use a little uh, cutting board, cheap one dollar from Dollar Tree, to put between that layer the top layer that I'm adding glue to and the inside the rest of the pages so that I wouldn't have any glue going over while I'm smearing all around and then you're just going to lay that down on your paper your your cardstock 
Uh, and so what I did is I left a little bit, you can see there on the left, because I wanted to fold it over when I'm all done. And then I'm just taking my bone folder and really rubbing it in really well because I don't want to have any bubbles. And then I've only glued the one side, the left side, and then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to mark the extension of it all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. And then I really should not have marked this yet. <laughs> what I was supposed to do, and I did it correctly on the next one, is fold over everything first and then mark where I want to cut it because I'm not going to have as much overlay on the right. It, it won't matter in the end, but you got to be careful because sometimes you might cut too close to the inside and have to do it all the way all over again. I didn't think about it at the time, so but you'll see whenever I fold it over and whenever I cut, it's like, oh, actually, because <laughs> you have to keep in mind there's a spine in there and you have to account for that space that it's going to take up. Yeah, and then you're just going to cut across uh, the part that you marked with the ruler and then just across the tire top. That's not marked. You don't have to mark it because you can see the top. And then you just flip your pages to get to the other end. Yeah, and then you've got a little bit of overlay. You're just going to kind of press it down, make sure the ends match at the top and the bottom. Yeah, that you don't have a bunch of anything really sticking up. Good job, Lucy. See, you can see it's not the same length on the sides because I didn't do it right. <laughs> but that's okay. Then you're going to take your bone folder and just really press down on the end once you know that you've got your sides lined up the way you want on the right. Yeah, just kind of make sure everything looks good. Looks good, it does. And then you're going, and I, here I was just kind of looking to see does it look like it's going to be right? And it does. Okay. And then you're going to just take your um, glue and put it on that excess. And then you'll just take that and fold it over. And I had to double do the glue, I think, on one side. I can't remember if it was this side or the other one because it had shiny parts on of the paper and it didn't want to stick as well. So then I just added some glue to the bottom the paper, the envelope, and then added some glue again on the top. I don't know where that was because I'm not seeing that happening right now in the video. So I don't know. Maybe it was on another insert, one of the other one. I don't know. Maybe I deleted that part. Okay. So then I want to decorate the outside with some of the cutaways that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm using my permanent double-sided tape from Dollar Tree for this. Um, I just want to make sure it's not going to be sticking up over time because there's nothing folded over it to really secure it. So I'm using my double-sided tape. I'm just putting a strip along the edge at the top and the bottom and then on the left and the right. And then after I get those all on there, all the way around, <laughs> then I'm just going to, uh, I'm just speeding it up because it's tedious. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Then after I get them all on there, then I'm just going to pull off the little plastic pieces and then I can put them on top. Sometimes the little edges are hard to get off. I usually do well if I press down first just with my finger on top before I pull it off but I don't think I did at that time. Yeah and then we're just going to put that just kind of eyeball it to make sure it's pretty centered that there's about the same amount of space at the top and the bottom and then about the same amount of space on the left and the right. And then I'm just using my bone folder to press down the edges and hoping I don't really need to do that with this permanent double sided tape though, but I just love my bone folder. <laughs> and so now I'm putting some of the permanent double sided tape on some little pieces that I got from Etta in my beautiful package of pink and green lovelies. And then after I put that on each little piece that I'm adding, to these just little de decorative pieces that I'm adding. Then I'm also going to take my glue. Now I probably really didn't need to do this, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel better if I do a little extra. So I'm gonna put my uh, a little bit of glue in the spaces where this double-sided tape is not going because these pieces aren't square. And I just wanna make sure that all of the kind of 
I don't know, odd angles and stuff are covered with a little something something <laughs> to make sure they stay. So then, yeah, I'm just adding the glue here to do that on the outside edges of this real pretty bow. It's so cute, you guys. I'm so blessed to have received this lovely package. Yeah, so then I'm just going to press that down a little bit. And isn't that pretty, you guys? I love it. Of course, I love pink and green, anything. And then I'm just putting it kind of in between those little spaces on this little decorative piece as well. I'm pulling the double-sided tape white strips, those plastic strips off. And then I'm just going to put that on the corner. And I'm going to decorate the inside covers as well. But these look all snazzy now. Yeah. Look at it. It's so cute, y'all. <laughs> so that's how they look so far. And then on the inside, I didn't want to show where that mail came from. So on the inside, I just put a bunch of glue with this 12 by 12. I put some on the 12 by 12 itself and then some on the inside. So it's the last page of the insert and then the inside of the back cover. And then I'm just really, really, really rubbing it with my bone folder and I did the exact same thing on all the inserts. I am going to show you a little bit um, in a little in a little bit, I'm going to show you a little bit of doing it with a smaller piece of paper. But this is kind of how it is when you've got a 12 by 12. And then you just want to cut um, all around the excess. So I'm just cutting on the back, or not the back. Is it the back? What am I talking about, y'all? Oh, yeah, because I'm just cutting. <laughs> this is the back. So, and then I had some excess down at the bottom, so I'm cutting that off. And so I just cut the top excess off there as well and then that piece is all done and it looks great and then I'm just oh this is what I was talking about before about folding over the excess where I had to do some double duty on the glue because it didn't want to stick to this shiny paper right here yeah so there we go and then after I put some more and just put some more on the little um, plastic piece then it worked out just fine yeah just rubbing that excess glue I really did it okay now this was a piece of paper that came in my package from Ed I just sped it up a little bit I think here and it's not a 12 by 12 but it was a little bit long so I did have to cut the excess at the top and the bottom but it actually turned out to be a little bit too narrow just a tiny bit too narrow on the inside and so what I decided to do was to take some Dollar Tree washi tape and just put alongside that and then I folded it over or, uh, halfway <laughs> and um, I folded it over so that half of it was on the inside cover and half of it was, was on the next page and then I just used my bone folder to press on both sides of it and then once everything is all in there for all of the sides then you want to make sure that you line everything up on the open side and then use your bone folder to really press on the edges to on the folded part to secure it and then here it is you guys so let's go ahead and look and see how they both turned out because I really only showed the inside decor of one of them you guys can see again I'm not finished setting everything up in there all I have in there right now is nothing in the front pocket that I made of this traveler's notebook and I didn't show what's inside of my passport book but here is the first insert and I added a little clip paper binder clip that I decorated years ago to hold a Tombow Mono pin and then here is what the inside looks like and then we flip through I won't be able to show all the pages inside and then here is the inside of the back cover of that first one and then here's the second one which also has a binder clip that I covered with washi tape both of them and then polished them with nail polish <laughs> and then here is the inside cover of that one which I love those hotel keys I think that is so cute and then we come to um, the inside cover of the next one but I wanted to show you one of the pockets 
Yeah, I could only see it for a second. I'm sorry about that. And then there's the back of that one. And then I'm not finished setting it up. I'll set it all up for you guys and show you before we go to Vegas. Or maybe after we come back. And I'll also show you whenever I go to um, the other places that I'm going. Well, thank you guys so much for supporting me today watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day. Until next time, happy planning.